Hi guys, so in this video we're going to be discussing the process of nitrogen washout in treating small spontaneous pneumothorax. Um, pneumothorax, as we may know, is just um, accumulation of air in the pleural space. And pleural space is going to be that space in between um, the parietal layers and the visceral layers of a lung. And the visceral layer of the lung is actually hugging the lung. It's like, it's like you can't take it apart from the lung. It's hugging it um, very, very, very tightly. And then we have that pleural um, parietal pleura, which is going to be on the outer layer, and then between that parietal layer and the visceral layer, we have that pleural space. And pneumothorax is just accumulation of air into the pleural space. So you should think, what is going to cause accumulation of air in the pleural space? All of those reasons, whatever causes accumulation of air in the pleural space is going to cause a pneumothorax. So we could have accumulation of air in the pleural space if we're on, um, if we put a patient on high mechanical ventilation, which is just going to cause buildup of air in that pleural space. If the, if someone has a chest trauma, if um, they have uh, if they're on center line, if we're trying to do a lung biopsy, if we have some form of um, injury to the, um, like a tear in the lung, or if we compromise the chest wall in some way, that's going to cause a pneumothorax. And um, so, so we use the process of nitrogen washout in treating a small spontaneous pneumothorax um, and we it's effective because so nitrogen is 78% um, of whatever you're breathing in is nitrogen 21% of whatever you're breathing is oxygen right so you're breathing in mostly nitrogen and if you have that tear in the lung if you have tear, tear in that wall or something your chest wall or something and that causes built up of air in the pleural space. Most of that air in the pleural space is going to be nitrogen. 78% of that air is going to be nitrogen, right? So the um, uh, the logic and the theory behind administering 100% um, oxygen and um, initiating the process of nitrogen washout is that when you administer 100% oxygen, you are creating a gradient basically. So if, if I'm putting someone in 100% oxygen who has a small spontaneous pneumothorax, they're getting 100% oxygen, their alveoli is going to have 100% oxygen, um, and their pleural space, as we know, if they have a pneumothorax, is going to be 78% um, of that is going to be nitrogen. So if we have that 100% oxygen in the alveoli, 78% nitrogen in that pleural space that's going to cause a um, create a gradient difference and um, it's going to the the partial pressure of nitrogen in the pleural space is going to be more than the partial pressure of nitrogen in the um, in the alveolar space the alveolar space is going to be 100 percent oxygen so the partial pressure of nitrogen in the alveolar space is going to be um, significantly less than the um, partial pressure of the nitrogen in the um, the um, pleural space so that's going to actually cause reabsorption of nitrogen reabsorption of that air from the pleural space into the alveoli so we're kind of tr tricking our own body um, into just reabsorbing that nitrogen reabsorbing that air in the pleural space and um, you know re uh, we are re uh, causing resolution of that pneumothorax in that way.